Welcome to the StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm Brutal Campaign How-To Guide for Back in the Saddle. This guide assumes you've completed the Heart of the Swarm campaign on normal with all Kerrigan levels found. Please refer to the game timer when following video instructions. The Too Long Didn't Watch version of this guide is as follows. Move Kerrigan to the green circles, ignore unnecessary combat with enemies, protect the tram engine, finally destroy the Archangel to complete the level. If you'd like to know more, then please continue to watch. Start by moving Kerrigan east. Use Kinetic Blast on the Marauder. Then run straight up, ignoring all enemies. Pick up the Restoration Charge and continue to move. Use Crushing Grip on the Dominion Forces, then strafe attack down. Continue to run east, ignoring all drop pods and enemy forces. Just remember to Kinetic Blast the Firebat when he comes out. Use Crushing Grip on the Dominion Forces that come from the Drop Pod while strafe attacking north. Move to the Green Circle and as soon as the checkpoint has been reached, pick up a Restoration Charge. Stand as close to the west side of the door as possible and wait for the Hammer Securities Marauder to attack three times. Then use Crushing Grip on the door to clear up the Dominion Forces that try to keep your Hammer Securities Marauder busy. Use Crushing Grip on the Serglings once they are in range of your allied forces, then use Kinetic Blast on the Roach, then pick up a Restoration Charge, kill the Banelin, use Crushing Grip on the Dominion Forces to the east and use Kinetic Blast on the Roach, then finish off the rest of the Dominion Forces. As soon as the next stage loads, move south and use Kinetic Blast on the Firebat when in range, then strafe attack south, killing the Marine, then run straight down ignoring all other enemy forces. Use Crushing Grip on the Hydralisks when in range, then continue to move to the Green Circle, ignoring all other enemy forces. If Raynor is lagging behind, keep Spam moving so that he catches up instead of stopping to attack enemy forces. Pick up the Restoration Charge and continue to move. Use Crushing Grip on the Serglings and Banelin, Kinetic Blast the Roach, then make sure to kill the Banelin while staying out of its splash damage radius. Strafe attack north the Serglings, use Kinetic Blast on a destructible debris and then continue to move, completely ignoring the Ultralisk. Keep moving east, ignore the Dominion forces, use Kinetic Blast on the destructible debris, pick up the Restoration Charge and continue to move south whilst completely ignoring the enemy Serg forces. Then use Kinetic Blast once again when available on a destructible debris and move to the green circle. Keep spam clicking so that Rayner keeps up. Move east, use Crushing Grip on the nearest four Dominion forces, then use Kinetic Blast on the Viking, pick up the Restoration Charge, then clear up the remaining Dominion forces. Then move Kerrigan to the green circle. Select the Gas the Room option on the right. Pick up the Restoration Charge, use Kinetic Blast on the Siege Tank, then use Crushing Grip on the Goliath. Let's hit it. Now move north, ignoring the remaining Goliath, use Crushing Grip on the Marine and Medic Pack, and keep running north to the Green Circle. Use Kinetic Blast on the Marauder. Don't forget to spam right click near the Green Circle so that Rayner catches up. When riding the tram, watch the minimap closely and respond to the arriving enemy forces using Crushing Grip or Kinetic Blast as necessary. Pick up the restoration charges when required and continue to use abilities efficiently. Once the tram ride ends and the next stage begins, move north ignoring all enemy forces to reach the green circle. As soon as the boss fight against the Archangel begins, use Kinetic Blast when you can get in range and keep attacking. Save energy by using Kinetic Blast against the Archangel only. As soon as the Archangel targets you with his abilities, strafe attack move out of the red circles. Pick up the restoration charge once he flies into the air. Use normal attacks against the drop pod forces. Don't waste energy on them. You should be able to kill all drop pod forces this way before the Archangel can land again. The Archangel will land to the south. Keep your distance from him and remember to keep moving to stay out of the red circles whilst using Kinetic Blast when available.
At this point, you can now use abilities to deal with the drop pod forces. Use crushing grip on the first drop pod forces. Pick up the restoration charge. Use connected blast on the second drop pod siege tank. The Archangel will now land in the middle. This should be the last phase. Continue to use Kinetic Blast and move as before. Thanks for watching this how-to guide on how to complete the StarCraft II Heart of the Swarm campaign back in the saddle level on Brutal Difficulty. Click on any of the video links to see any of the how-to guide and playthrough videos for the StarCraft II Heart of the Swarm Brutal campaign.